Welcome back to my favorite tropes on Speeder TV. Subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell to let your speeder sense tingle when I upload. With the Disney Fox deal officially official, here's something some people might be worried about. Disneyfication. What is that? Well, of course, as always, we're going to tvtropes.org for our answer. Essentially, it's making a story kid-safe or parent-approved by taking out certain plot elements, even if they're historically correct, or adding Broadway-style musical numbers, or making the ending more happily ever after-ish, or making the distinction between good and evil clearer, or, well, all of the above. And even though this is often thought of sort of negatively, it's not always a bad thing. Disneyfication can make stories just more easy to digest, or more fleshed out. It's given us our standard visual representation for characters and stories like Snow White and the Little Mermaid. And funny enough, despite the name, the Brothers Grimm were doing this way before Disney was a thing. So for some examples, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves takes out two of the Queen's attempts at killing Snow White and changes the Queen's demise from being exposed and burned alive to being taken care of by nature. You know, lightning and a boulder and a cliff and stuff, but still by nature and not by the heroes themselves. Bambi's mom's death, as much as it probably scarred all of us, is much lighter in the movie than it is in the original book. Nor do they have his cousin Gobo's death, or the fact that Feline was his cousin. Eh, animals. The Little Mermaid ends with Ariel not dead, and gives Ursula, for one, a name, and two, an actual evil personality as opposed to a neutral one in the original story. The Hunchback of Notre Dame changes a whole lot. Pocahontas changes a whole lot. The Lion King lightens up a whole lot if you compare it to Hamlet, and funny enough, in an attempt to avoid this with Star Wars, Disney doesn't show their logos before their Star Wars movies, and like them or not, they haven't really been Disney-fied. And of course, there are non-Disney examples, like Tom and Jerry in the Tom and Jerry movie became friends, the Swan Princess adds a happy ending in Talking Animals to Swan Lake, the Wizard of Oz takes out a whole lot of violence. And, well, there's, of course, a lot of examples. And of course, I'll link to TV tropes in the description. And funny enough, there's no real Marvel examples in there. But guess what? April's gonna be Marvel Month here on Speeder TV. Nothing but Marvel as we get ready for Avengers Endgame and celebrate 200 subscribers. So, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell to let your speeder sense tingle when I upload. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. And I will see you next week.